Hey everybody, it's Miranda here, and I'm going to share a tutorial with y'all today on how I'm going to alter this matchbook box by Graphic45. And what I'm going to be using is, of course, the box itself. And I want to do kind of dissect this and do something differently. I kind of had an idea to almost do like a shadow box and then like a little piece coming out here, kind of like a configuration box, I guess. So I'm going to be cutting into this drawer part. I'm going to be using a Secret Garden paper collection and I'm going to be using some of the matching like banner sheets and the flower sheets as well to kind of use for some of the embellishments. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and to cut this drawer off, I'm going to kind of pull it out to where I want the bottom little section to be. And then I'm going to just keep it in here and I'm going to use a pencil to make my markings. And what you're going to do to cut it is just use an X-Acto knife. But this is just like a perfect way to get a straight edge, a straight mark all the way around it to know where to cut. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. All right, and then I changed out my blade. I want a really sharp blade for this because otherwise it's not going to cut clean. So I'm just going to keep it, you know, in here and just push my blade up against that edge to give myself a nice place to cut. And it will take a couple of passes. I mean, it's better to do a few passes than just one all the way through. And if you're cutting towards yourself, be really careful and don't keep your fingers in the way. I've made that mistake before. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly kind of cut through and score. And then I'm going to go around on my other lines. And then I'll take it out of there and kind of finish up the cutting. But this just gives me a nice big score line to know where to finish my cutting at. Okay. Then I'm going to take it out of there. You can see it's pretty well ready to kind of break apart. I'm just going to cut through a little bit more. Okay, now that it is cut apart, you can see it's pretty well um, straight, but it's not completely straight. So I'm going to take the coordination sanding block. I'm just going to sand the edges of it to get it a nice smooth surface. And this one's not extremely critical because it's going to kind of rest on the inside of there, but this one you definitely want it to be straight. Okay, my next step would be to gesso all of my areas. It's going to be covered with paper, so what I'm going to concentrate on is these corner pieces here, like the edges and stuff, because sometimes your paper falls short or you may even cut it, you know, a fraction of an inch smaller just to give it that nice clean matted look. So I always just gesso everything to make sure that if my paper falls short, it's nice and clean looking. And this is just my perfectionism. Feel free to skip this step if if you don't care. And definitely the edges like this part because I'm not going to cut a teeny tiny piece of paper to cover that. So I'm definitely going to gesso it. Okay, the next thing I do whenever I'm covering something or especially working on like configuration boxes or printer's trays is I do all of my measurements at one time and then I just write them on there. 
And if, say, like it's a little bit shy of two and three fourths, I usually just put a little negative sign. So when I go to cut it, I know that because I don't like to do like two and five eighths. It's just easier for me to say a little shy of two and three fourths. Okay, and I just do this all the way around for all of my sides so I can just cut all of my paper at one time. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep cutting out all of my pieces to fit my boxes and I'm going to distress up all of my edges and then I'm also going to take that paintbrush and the gesso that I covered the boxes with and once I have all of my edges distressed, I'm going to do this piece by piece so it can dry and then when I'm ready to glue it on, I can it will be dried. I'm just going to hit all of my edges with my paintbrush and a little bit of gesso and this just makes it look really, really, really shabby, especially when you distress up the edges already. It gives it something for that gesso to really grab. So I'm going to do this to every single piece, including the ones for the back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then when I'm finished, I'll come back and we'll go forward because this is going to take me a little bit of time. Okay, I've got all of my boxes completely covered, and I've went ahead and adhered this one in there, which I probably shouldn't have done because I want to punch some holes right here on the edge of this part. But what I did is I just used a tiny bit of Fabri-Tac on the edges and just inserted it in there. It really didn't even need the Fabri-Tac because it's, it's sturdy enough on its own. But I went ahead and did it just in case. And I have this one which I'm going to attach over there. But I'm going to wait until I punch holes here. And what I'm going to do, now I'm sorry if you guys don't have access to this, but my honey has a shop on our property. And he's got like every tool imaginable. So what I'm doing here is I'm marking places to punch my holes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to his shop and I'm going to use his drill press to do it. Um, the crocodile won't fit in there. If you have anything that can punch holes, I'm all about lacing up corset style. So I'm doing these every half of an inch and I lined these up, but now I'm just going to kind of eyeball and follow these dots. I'm never big on exact measurements. I pretty much eyeball everything, but I'm placing these a half an inch. Every half an inch I'm putting the dots, okay? Okay, so you can see here I've assembled my matchbook box together, and I just used E6000 to adhere this together, and then I laced up the side here. So it's basically it for the structural part, and now I'm just going to go into a fast forward of me embellishing it. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment down below. Mm -hmm. 